peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. We're out here in nature with the sun on my forehead, breathing in that beautiful prana. Men versus women. I don't usually read off my phone, but whenever I do, it's a bloody good question. We got a question in from Samantha. How are you doing today, Samantha? It seems more apparent now, more so than ever before, to my knowledge, that there is a great divide between men and women these days. The majority of relationships between men and women appear to have changed drastically for the worse. Communication seems to be almost impossible. There is a major disconnect and a lack of respect to some degree. When it comes to relationships and monogamy, both sexes seem to be very fearful. Both want to be together, work together and coexist as men and women traditionally have done, but are so afraid to do so and even seem lost due to the major changes in our world today. There are so many catalysts that seem to have driven men and women so far apart. I'd be interested to know your thoughts on this particular subject. Oh boy, you don't want me to dive deep, especially in a jungle. Where shall we start? Can I get a hello there? What's helped me along my journey? When we talk of developing more harmonious relationships, because after all, that's what we're here for, is to never see men and women as opposites, but more as compliments to each other. I had a great friend and I asked her what's the difference between men and women she said there is so much we are completely opposite we are as different as night and day I told her don't you know that night and day are compliments to each other I've got a little exercise for you get a piece of paper and fill in the blank. Men are dot, dot, dot. What are you gonna put down? Or women are dot, dot, dot. What are you gonna put down? Be totally honest. And whatever comes out, if it is very inspirational, full of elevation, guess what? You're probably going to find that you don't seem too concerned about this men versus women fiasco going on because you realize we are not at war with each other we never have been we are here to to work together to coexist together in peace and harmony and that's what most of your attractions are built around <laughs> however if you have a lot to say, which may be very honest, but really there is a lot of confusion, a lot of war, then that is probably why you think it is men versus women. What helped me along my journey was to realize I had to let go of all preconceived ideas of what I thought women were and what I thought men were, because goodness gracious, have we met every single woman in the world? Have you met every single man in the world? Can you at least give me a chance? You see, many of us, we have these subconscious programs running which really shape our whole outlook on life. Many times we've been around certain friends who whisper in our ear, don't trust that man or don't trust that woman. Sometimes it's even our parents. But you have to ask yourself, can you have a blank slate? 
Can you enter a new relationship with new eyes? And this can only happen when you don't carry old energy into a new relationship. You see, we can only realize one of the greatest secrets that a man has the feminine and the masculine within himself. A woman has the feminine and the masculine also within herself. So guess what? We have so much in common. When I stopped focusing on our differences and see, I started to see what really united us together. And that's what did it for me. That's what made my relationships become more harmonious. I talk about the five secrets to a great relationship. Communication, oh yeah. Appreciation, oh yeah. Passion, trust, and fun. Many of us, we don't communicate with our partner, not because we don't want to, but because there simply isn't time. So we have to create time because there is always time. It is only a matter of priorities. Therefore, you have to ask yourself, what matters most? How much do I cherish this person? And then you have to ask yourself, how can I create more time to be around them? Because for you to know a woman, for you to know a man, they have to reveal themselves to you. We can't come with preconceived ideas. Some people say, I don't trust them. Hey, Ask yourself if you trust yourself. Insecurity is born out of a lack of trust for ourselves. And guess what? You are right. Oh yes, you are right. The world has changed since the last 50 years. Because guess what? We have so much choice. That's right. With a lot of choice, it means that whereas before people would just get married, settle down and have children, now people are realizing, wait a minute, wait a minute, I don't have to be in a relationship that is making me unhappy. I can choose to be in a relationship that nourishes and cultivates my soul. And that's what a lot of people are doing. So it's also a wonderful thing when you embrace it. Many times I've realized along my journey, when I connect with the feminine principle within myself, I come to know the feminine principle in women a lot more. Just as when a lot of women connect with a masculine principle within themselves, they come to know men a lot better. We've been told what separates us. What we haven't been told is what unifies us together. What helped me along my journey is to realize that we need each other because it doesn't matter who you are. Nobody can survive alone. We've got a program running which says be independent. But guess what? We are living in an interdependent universe. So we better start learning how to get along with each other because guess what? We are all we have. 
at the same time, what's freed me along my journey is not trying to understand a woman, but more so to allow a woman to reveal herself to me. Not to analyze a woman, also not to analyze a man but to realize that whenever you accept someone for who they are, it's not about changing that person. It's about accepting them 100%. Now the relationship can blossom. But before any of that can happen, you have to ask yourself, what is the level of consciousness both of you have? Do you both share a similar interest? Can you both evolve and grow? Because in essence, your so-called twin flame, your soulmate, is really your higher self. I wrote down a long time ago, you find the one you love doing what you love. The reason why there seems to be a big disconnect with male and female relationships is simply because many of us haven't found our true calling. You see, once you actualize, once you've gotten what you really want, now you realize that, okay, I better find my complementary part of myself out there. Okay, and you find it and you live happily ever after. But you see, many of us, we're still running, we're still surviving. We don't have time for no relationship. Let's get real. But once you actualize, once you move towards your calling, you realize that for you to go to the next level, you're going to have to embrace and share with your complementary self with your reflection because you can learn so much but once again what is the attitude you have towards women and what is the attitude you have towards men because that is going to serve as the fan that is going to serve as the foundation for what you are going to attract into your life so therefore if you're if you're watching this video and you're a deep diver, write down one aspect you love about women and one aspect you love about men. And let's unify and create more harmonious relationships. Have a wonderful day, live from the jungle infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace